you guys on a solo hike today up at Alafia River Corridor North. I uh, haven't been out here before. Hey there, editing Marissa here. I uh, just wanted to come on and do a little introduction for the video you're about to watch. This is actually the first video I ever recorded. I was going on a day hike to Alafia River Corridor North in Plant City, Florida before I moved back home. I was going there to check out some primitive campsites. I was hoping to go on a backpacking trip there and kind of test out some of my gear. I didn't get the opportunity to go on a trip before I moved back home. Um, but that's what this video is. Um, when I went on this hike, I had no intention of recording it, but as I was out there, I decided just to pull out my phone and start taking some clips and I ended up piecing them together and I liked how it turned out. I ultimately decided not to use any of the campsites at Alafia River Corridor just because I didn't feel like they were very backcountry. Um, the trailhead was right next to a major road. The campsites weren't that far into the trail and there was actually a railroad that ran alongside one of the trails and I just decided that wasn't really um, where I wanted to go backpacking. Um, and then I kind of ran out of time before finding a good spot uh, down in Florida to, um, to go backpacking. But there are plenty of options here in Northwest Georgia so I know I'll get my chance to do a shakedown hike uh, in the coming months before my trip. But just wanted to kind of give some context for what this video is. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy. This may be a little dramatic, but man, do I live for Spanish moss. Gosh, that's beautiful. So the last few hikes I've been on, I've had some wildlife encounters that I never had anything like before. Which it's Florida, but like not gators. So the last hike I was on, I was walking along the trail and I heard something pretty big in the bushes. And so I stopped, looked over, and I saw a black back. And I'm pretty sure it was a wild boar. I didn't get too close. Didn't let it see me. So I backed up, waited for it to leave. And then once I didn't hear it anymore, I moved forward. Well, just now I'm walking along this path and I see this open meadow. And I look over and I see two cubs of some sort. Definitely like a large cat. I don't know what is out here. I don't know if it was a mountain lion. Didn't really look like mountain lion cubs. Um, I'm definitely gonna have to do some investigating, but they were very cute. I'm a little freaked out because I don't want mom to come and find me. Um, one of them ran off into the woods. One of them, uh, he and I just kind of had a stare down kind of yeah but it was pretty cool they're really cute let's hope mom doesn't find me and now that I've had time to think about it I do recall the nearby campsite is called Bobcat so maybe that name is right on the nose I'm guessing that's probably what I saw also so far this is so different from my last hike my last hike I'll insert a clip but Somewhere under here, there is a trail, believe it or not. It was so overgrown, you couldn't see the trail. I ran into some people who um, we kind of reminisced over the fact that you see a blaze, but you don't see a trail. Um, so yeah, this, totally different. As you can see, basically a road right now, hoping that changes. It started off as a pretty narrow, overgrown trail with ferns along the sides, but now it's just kind of opened up, but hoping to get something a little bit more challenging in a bit. I may regret those words though. Bridge, 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 bridge. 
So part of the reason I came on this hike today is to check out some primitive campsites so I can do a test run on my gear, do a bit of a shakedown hike. But this is the first campsite. Pretty simple, nothing all that crazy, but it is really pretty. There are all these, I'm pretty sure they're going to be oranges. Orange trees around, there's one that fell. And then when you walk in, way down here, there's all these teeny tiny little white flowers lining the path in and it smells so good. Yeah, like isn't this so pretty? I highly doubt that you can tell, but there is a bit of an incline here, which for Florida, like this is huge. This is basically a mountain. My goodness, this is beautiful. Wow. I have to say this is a pretty simple trail. Um, it's about as wide as a road, but it's really pretty. There's so much Spanish moss, um, but it is just a very homogenous trail. Everything kind of looks the same. I did just kind of get to a different area. There's kind of some fall foliage there. That's different. That's very unlike Florida. So that was a little fun. Um, I think we're about to head back into the land of palmettos and Spanish moss, but it's a nice little taste of fall there in this 80 degree weather. I find it interesting. The reason I'm up here is when I went on my last hike at Mayaka State Park, I ran into these three ladies um, and I told them that I was planning to hike the AT. And of course they told me, girl, you gotta get on some hills, which <clears throat> I've been on the celery fields, you know, pretty much every day after work when I can, um, which is the only hill around. But they recommended this trail for me because they said it has a little bit more up and down than Mayaka, which it does have more up and down than Mayaka. There is still no up and down. <laughs> I just checked to see what my elevation gain is and it is zero feet. So still very much a Florida hike. All right, so I just turned off to a different trail and let me just tell you, the vibes here are different. And I'm digging it. Definitely needed a change of pace. This little swamp land. So pretty. As you can tell, not only the views changed with the trail, so did the trail. Uh, what was once almost a road is now a beach. Well, I was just coming on here to tell you guys that I feel like I am trudging through Tatooine in this hood. I think It'd really be a look there. Um, but just as I was coming on, I heard something in the bushes and turned around and there was an armadillo. It was so cute. I didn't get to catch it on film, but it was pretty cool to see. Haven't seen much wildlife today other than those bobcat cubs. I don't know if you can see that little guy. He is booking it. That is one fast turtle. Man, I just keep barely missing all the wildlife. Well, I just got to another campsite. This is Otter. It's so big. Such a huge open place. Looks like there's a water spigot over there, but I don't know if it works. 
and there's a picnic table. But what's really cool, got a little waterfront access here, not gonna lie. Hope there's no gators, but we're gonna get a little closer to the water, take a look around. Well, upon closer inspection, I think the picnic table is probably a no-go. <laughs> I don't know if you can see, but there is a turtle down in that hole. I heard him as I walked by. I'm not going to get any closer because I don't want him to freak out. But he's in there. I will say, the hike out of here is not quite as fun. It is just two and a half miles of this directly in the sunlight, wide open, no views. Also, there's a train track running alongside the right of me. So that's interesting, but it was a good day. We'll be back to the car soon, and then we'll go check out a cool lunch spot. I'm pretty stoked. Well, I just saw my first other person uh, that I've seen on this trail today, and it was <laughs> perfect timing. Uh, I was coming up on the clearing where I saw those bobcat cubs this morning, and I was singing them a little song, letting them know their pal Marissa was here. Nothing to fear, you know, just going on a hike and leaving no trace and doing no harm. Um, and then I round... <laughs> the bend past the clearing and there's a lady and her corgi there and I'm gonna hope she didn't hear my whole song but there's a very good chance she did so that's fun good way to end the hike <laughs> and then just to close out the video thank you guys so much for watching if you made it all the way to the end uh, I'm really excited that there are people that want to follow along on my journey um, originally when I left the trail after this video, I'd intended to go to this really cool lunch spot. Unfortunately, I didn't realize they were doing like a Saturday farmer's market. There were all these tents. There was no parking. It was nuts. So I just drove home and had lunch at home. So no cool lunch spot to share after the video like I had originally thought. But all right, and I'll pop my stats for the hike right up here on the screen. Um, just a Good little day hike. I really enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed following along and um, see you in the next video.